Kirk Franklin. Um, uh, he was on with Tim Ross. Tim Ross, B side. All right, let's go. Well, we should be salt and light, and and the problem is, I have, I am led, I am driven by my deficiencies. Mm. I am. They are the fuel to my fire. Um, is I had a, is I had a couple of young artists come to my studio, a couple of young successful mm-hmm. artists, and they saw the, you know, pads mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. trophies and yin 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 yeah, mm-hmm. and they said, "Oh gee, what's the secret?" You know, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. I, I understood what the terms are. Yeah. Is I said, "Well, if you are asking me, is there some formula or some something I can say to you that's really dope?" I said, "I think that my answer is going to be really discouraging for you, and I think it's going to be a letdown." Mm. I said. I am too insecure to allow you to forget me. Mm. That's what drives mm-hmm. me. I can't afford to be forgotten again. So I'm going to work harder than any other artist. I'm going to stay up later than any new artist. I'm going to do more interviews than you. I'm going to shake more hands than you. I'm going to kiss more babies than you. I'm going to do everything more than you because I cannot afford to be forgotten. Mm. Mm. It ain't sexy, but it's my truth. Okay. So, what do you think about what Kirk Franklin said? I mean, can I get clarification? He said his insecurity Mm -hmm. is to be forgotten. He cannot allow that to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has to be the best. Yeah. He's, I don't think he's bragging on it like it's a good thing, but like he works as hard as he does because his he's it's wrapped up in his identity. Yeah, that's that what he his cannot be forgotten. Correct. So he's lost his mission. I don't say he. I think he. I think he realizes <laughs> that that's not. I realize. I think he realizes that's not the best thing to do. Did you see the whole? Did you? I see didn't. I didn't. But did I know his, his story. That's what Honestly, I was, I was kind of kirked out. I saw it pop up on my <laughs> feed. <laughs> I was kirked like, out. Kirk, kirked I love out. you, but I'm good. Close the curtains on Kirk. Well, I, I guess it, it kind of. <laughs> I, I found it kind of disturbing was. because his fear of. To be forgotten, mm-hmm. yeah. it's not about you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's never been about exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. And when you lost what it was about, mm-hmm. then the fear came in because you derailed yeah. I'm, I'm your a, mission. I'm going to say something real quick. I think, I'm sorry, Scarman. No, you're you fine. Um, I think when people, um, if I'm an artist and I hear that, I'm like, that's what we do. Yeah, that's most artists. That's what we do. We we use our we use our lack of people saying you ain't gonna never be nothing. You ain't this. You ain't that. I'm gonna use that to motivate me Uh-oh. till when I get in those places mm-hmm. that oh I'm here. I made it. So now I got to keep my spot. So when my spot is at jeopardy, when this dude drops a record and everybody like yo, y'all heard that record? It's crazy. It's crazy. Now I'm in my studio like this dude can't pass me. This dude can't. I, Okay, I need to make a hit. I need to make it so so they won't forget about me, mm-hmm. right? From an artist perspective, that's what fuel a lot of artists. Oh yeah. But now as a Christian, yes. the problem is that yeah. shouldn't fuel you. Yeah. That mm-hmm. should that shouldn't be your thing where you're like, I can't be forgotten. And that's what I'm saying. Right. I think he knows that and that is yeah. a broken part of him yeah. because right. he he yeah, his he last it. few interviews, his whole last album, his project, all of his that projects have been rooted that. out of his brokenness. Okay. Um, so I think he That's knows that mm-hmm. and is trying to change that. Okay. But I just want you to be clear. I don't think he thinks that's good. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm glad you said oh, no. that because because I've always seen Kurt as because of God mm-hmm. and his mission, mm-hmm. you know, and, you know, his ministry music yeah. that has kept him centered, that has kept him mm-hmm. from falling into what oblivion with as relates to his insecurities and his brokenness and mm-hmm. all that he's experienced. And so when he, you know, when he said that, I was like. Well, you are who you are because of him. Yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah. I think just his childhood, his upbringing, yeah. those scars it's, it's are deep. Deep, it's and understandable. It's, yeah, I didn't realize. I mean, I knew the scars were there, mm-hmm. but I mean, and he he has said it how around certain people he you know acts or turns into or still feels like that same little boy. But okay. when he That's did his um, documentary or what have you, like maybe was that last year or whatever, mm-hmm. like oh, and even just year. the whole dynamic between him and his mom and. 
all yeah. of that like it's still very evident those wounds are still very mm-hmm. much but h- h- here's yeah. the question for that though <clears throat> how long do you go without saying i want to heal this you get what i'm saying mm, like how long good. do you go to let your insecurities dictate yeah. your mm-hmm. life before you go that's real god would, would I, you would you tell kirk to step away from the music is that what advice you would give um, because it almost feels like you're not gonna you're not gonna get mm-hmm. Jesus back. You need to go into obscurity. Yeah, people are having yeah they're having real conversations with him though. Like one, I, this is when I was like, oh Shay is like really legit. When mm-hmm. he when when he did his interview with Shay, yeah. Shannon Sharp challenged him mm-hmm. about his mom. Yeah, he was like, I don't think that's okay. I think you mm-hmm. need to be the bigger like literally. He yeah. was telling that to everybody, and you, I could see him turning into yeah. the little boy again because yeah. he's still very much hurt by his mom. In mm-hmm. his, I think he's fifty now. Mm-hmm. In his fifties, it's really it's a deep wound. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe it is obscurity that he needs. I know he said he's done counseling and maybe is still doing counseling, mm-hmm. but it's it's a lot of work still yet to be yeah. done. Because I mean, yeah. God could take this platform away, you know. Oh yeah, and so. Then where's your identity, and mm-hmm. then how do you? How do you, do you, do you guys that? worry at all about the music that he made over the years? If that was his motivation, mm. oh, that's good. I feel like God uses our brokenness, mm-hmm. and and again, he he uses people's gifts all the time. I don't want him to be a castaway. Mm-hmm. I think I think that same brokenness though that Kirk is articulating and calls out is what leads him to keeps him at the feet of Jesus. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I think so I don't I don't think his relationship with God is is fractured. Um and I do believe that God has used his music to yeah. to um lead other people mm-hmm. to to him, to mm-hmm. Jesus. Yeah. But at the same time I I want I want Kirk to experience the other side of his gift. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like his gifting doesn't always have to come out of a place of brokenness Broken, yeah. and sadly we know this like you write the best when you go on through stuff you mm-hmm. write like literally when you are in it is when that stuff is flowing but i believe there's a greater glory that god wants us all to experience mm-hmm. where we're able to utilize our giftings from a place of wholeness mm, yeah he's just not there yet i, I have to ask the question where is his relationship with god personally mm. because at some point there needs to be growth versus stagnation mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and and if you never if, if you know if you never you know take the time to fix that mm-hmm. to say you know i need more of you i'm still hurt i'm still broken but yet you surfacely i'm not saying that's the case yeah but if his relationship is not really being developed with god to allow himself to be healed it's a question he asks then it's so like just kind of spinning your wheels yeah you know, and that's and that's sad because I I, I believe he's a, an amazing mm-hmm. talent, and you know, and you don't want to see him to continue to hurt. Mm-hmm. And what he went through during that discovery period, yeah. it's reopening wounds that hasn't fully healed. Yeah, and so, you know, I, I do empathize with that, but at the same time, it's going it still goes back to what are you going to do about it because it's your relationship that's real. with God, mm-hmm. and He's you know through Christ, He's the only one can heal you. Yeah, and in, and and that you can't. You can't skirt around. You can't yeah. put a Band-Aid on it. Yeah. And I'll say this, and then I'm going a, I'm to a get off Kirk. I will say, and I, I have this feeling about a couple of different artists in the industry for different reasons, but I feel like um, the last few albums where I've been kind of like not really checking for him, and Kirk is one of those people, whereas I love Kirk. I mean, literally, mm. will go to a concert in a heartbeat and just mm. like love every minute of it. But I will say probably realistically, the last i don't know three four maybe even five albums that he's done over the last 14 15 years to me have not been of the caliber Mm. that i think his height to me was like in the 2000s family and so i Mm. haven't i I feel like there's been a decline there and it may be because it's more of the same it may be because he hasn't yet hit that emotional spiritual breakthrough yes. that he needs to yeah. that you know what i mean they can catapult a, him. Yeah, yeah it feels like it's more of the same though mm-hmm. and so i don't know if that's connected to it or not 